Have you ever been accused of not eating enough just because you're too skinny? Little does everyone know that you can quite literally eat 18 tacos in one sitting and seemingly not gain a single pound. If that sounds like you, you more than likely have what's called an ectomorph body type. What is an ectomorph body type? In today's video, I'll be going over just that. And also I'll be teaching you exactly how to, believe it or not, gain muscle and also gain weight as an ectomorph body type. Let's get into it. In the 1940s, there was a man who was an American psychologist by the name of William Sheldon, invented the concept called the body types. There being three of them. There's the ectomorph body type, there's the mesomorph body type, and the endomorph body type. Today, I'm gonna to be going over the ectomorph body type, which you established by now sounds a lot like you. The ectomorph body type is a lot more slim, slender, considered lanky. It's hard for them to put on muscle. It's hard for them to gain weight. It isn't uncommon for ectomorphs to figure out how to gain weight and build muscle. If this does sound like you, don't get discouraged. There's a lot of great athletes out there. For example, Conor McGregor is a great example of an ectomorph body type. But as you can see in the beginning of his career, he was very slim, very slender, very lean. But if you pay closer attention to later in his career, he figured out how to bulk up eating a very high protein, high carbohydrate diet. So that way he could compete with athletes that were bigger than him. So another great example of an ectomorph body type would be Tom Holland, who plays Spider-Man. As you can see, he's very flexible, he's very strong. I mean, he did have to play the role of Spider-Man. So he had to learn to be able to jump, be agile, be able to do front flips over cars at any moment. It's very common to see ectomorphs doing things such as long distance running, cycling, swimming, being good at parkour, um, anything high cardio. Since they are such lightweight, it's very easy for them to perform sports like these. So if you're an ectomorph and you're looking to build muscle and gain weight, I highly recommend you start hitting the gym at least one to four times per week, doing a lot of strength training, starting out with calisthenics, doing some uh, body weight exercises. Um, then you can progress to doing some strength training, go to the gym, lift some weights, do some bicep curls, overhead press, a lot of pull-ups, a lot of low rows, a lot of deadlifts, Romanian deadlifts, just to do some full body exercises like some, some weighted squats are great for developing your, uh, your legs, obviously doing a lot of upper body movements to develop your chest. Um, now for diets, I highly recommend a high protein, high carbohydrate di diet. Make sure you're getting your cruciferous vegetables and also your fruits. For meats, I highly recommend getting grass-fed, grass-finished beef. For chicken, um, anything, look for anything that says anab no antibiotics ever and no hormones added. Hormones is basically things that they inject to the chicken to make it grow bigger so that way they can sell it to you for less cost and that you basically get more of chicken. You want to avoid these low quality meats. It can affect your hormones and it's just overall unhealthy for you. Now, another thing I want to add is that people of this body type, they have a very bad habit of thinking to themselves, okay, so we know that obesity is a disease. So if I'm an ectomorph and I look at myself and I say to myself, well, I'm not obese, so I must be healthy, right? So I must be able to eat whatever I want whenever I want, right? Well, this couldn't be any further from the truth and it's the biggest mistake that this body type can make. You do want to eat healthy, you do want to strength train, you do want to exercise. You want to live for as long as you possibly can. I know some of you might, might be cringing right now. Why would I want to live forever? You, you know, we're all going to die eventually. Well, the point is we want to live and age gracefully. We don't want to be, let's say, 40, 50 years old, um, so overweight that, you know, we're at an age now where our metabolism kind of drops off and it's very easy to gain weight, even for ectomorphs. Don't realize too late in life that when your metabolism drops off and you're gaining this extra gut and you have all these health issues and you're on all this medication, the point is to age gracefully. You don't want to end up in a wheelchair or you don't want to be diagnosed with cancer because you eat a lot of junk food or you have to be on high blood, high blood pressure medicine because you don't exercise. 
or you haven't done any cardiovascular exercise to avoid manifesting a heart disease, for example. Ectomorphs are the most at risk because they look at their body and say to themselves, I'm completely healthy because of my appearance. Little do they know what's going on in the inside. For example, bodybuilders look super strong. They got those bulging muscles. They got those veins popping out of their foreheads, right? They look so healthy because they're so strong, but on the inside they're dying because they're eating mac and cheese and White Castle and eating, you know, protein junk candy bars full of sugar and they're dropping like that because of heart attacks just something to think about as an ectomorph if they can eat whatever they want and they look like that that's fine but that doesn't mean they're healthy the point is to age gracefully the point is to avoid being in a wheelchair because you're a diabetic and you have to get a limb cut off i mean those are extreme these are extreme cases but i mean look around how many people do you know right now with cancer how many people do you know right now with heart disease? How many people do you know that are on blood thinners or um, high blood pressure medicine or are on some type of medication? There's no reason for anyone to ever be on medication whatsoever. If you're a healthy, functioning human being who's exercising and dieting properly, there's absolutely no reason to be on any type of medication whatsoever. All right, so if this video applies to you, let's do a little recap. So for ectomorph body type, I highly recommend one to four times per week hitting the gym, doing a lot of strength training, lifting weights, um, eating a high protein, high, high carbohydrate diet, making sure you're getting quality meats, getting cruciferous vegetables, fruits, eating carbohydrates such as, let's say sweet potatoes, potatoes, um, you can do pasta noodles, you can so carbohydrates are basically noodles, bread. You can do uh, you can do pizza if you want. Just make it from home. Make it home. Make it healthy. If you want to make a cheeseburger, get the cheese from the grocery store. Get your high quality grass fed patties. Cook it all at home. If you're like really sensitive to dairy, I highly recommend doing goat's cheese. Uh, less inflammatory then obviously you want to get your vegetables get some tomato chop up tomato chop some onion make it from home you don't have to cut out all the favorite foods that you love you can literally make your favorite food like let's say if it's a burger you can get some sweet potatoes you can chop them up into fries you can bake them in the oven you can cook your burger however you want it just recreate it in your favorite way at home make it so much more healthier and you're also saving money in the long run, because think about it. If you go to a restaurant and you buy a burger for $15, when you could have spent a little bit more at the grocery store, but you brought it home and you realized you had leftovers, that's a win. Think about it. You're eating $15 in one sitting. Yeah, you might be spending it like 25, but at least you have leftovers. So eat one meal, eat $15 in one sitting, or go to the grocery store, spend maybe $25 and you have meals for the next three days. You tell me what's a win-win, you, you do the math. But that's all I have to say today about the ectomorph body type. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for the two other body type videos, the endomorph and also the mesomorph. All right, until next time.